Already a fun one. So, who are the lost sheep of Israel? Well, is it uh, Israel the place? Or is it this fellow here, Israel? Jacob used to be known as. So, um, or is it like a bloodline or something? So, uh, well, if you go for bloodlines and stuff like that, you have things like Acts 17. God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands, neither is worshipped with men's hands, as though he needs anything, seeing he giveth to all life, and breathed, breathed and all things, and has made of one blood all nations of men, for to dwell on the face of the earth. All right, let's see what he says. One blood of men. Let's see what men. So, four, four, four. Uh, men, human being, whether male or female, generically including including all human individuals, distinguished man as being in order. All right, so it comes from G43 and also has countenance mixed in. So G43 means male with reference to sex. So got man bits, I suppose. Husband, betrothed. Uh, this one, the G3700, has to do with countenance. So it looks like a man. All right. So well, I can dwell on that more. So yeah, nothing to do with um, colour or anything like that, or shape or whatever. Man, one blood. All right, so we've got that. Um, we also got uh, Israel. So God says here, God says Israel is his son. And thou shalt say unto the Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. All right, and I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me. And if thou refusest to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son. I will slay your son, even thy firstborn. All right, so um, obviously Israel is a people. All right, so you've got the parables, uh, the lost coin, and also, of course, the lost sheep. So, he speaks the parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness, and go after the one which is lost, until he findeth? And when he has found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calleth together his friends and neighbours, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over the one sinner that repenteth, more than over the ninety-nine just persons which need no repentance. Okay, so when he's talking of lost sheep, he's talking about sinner it's a parable all right but it's also prophecy it's got parable there you'll see it in matthew it's actually called 99 plus one it's not actually called lost sheep um but even so it shall be when i find it verily i say unto you he that rejoiceth more of that one sheep than of the 99 okay so the way i look at it is who are the lost sheep so you got Abraham and Sarah Isaac Isaac and Rebecca and Isaac had Ezu and <coughs> Jacob now um, Israel so this would be Israel God's son this lot here anyone down there below this so Ezu right rejected his birthright so in I would say the way I look at it is where are we? Um, oh, of course I closed that one. Open that back up. Yeah, so the lost sheep. 
Um, then from Abraham to Isaac, who had Esau and Jacob. So I would look at it as he who sells or waives their birthright, <coughs> like Antichrist and Tares, right, is Esau, and the lost sheep are everyone else. So Esau waived his birthright. So you got also like Tares. Tares, uh, they waive their birthright in a different way sort of thing they uh when they tears are, are really scripture they're right into bibles and that and they know that scripture really good the only thing is they apply it to what they want so if they want skin color they'll apply it to that um if they want to deny that jesus is god they'll apply it to that so the um those sort of things um they'll say no jesus is just a man um <clears throat> and not god in the flesh uh, they'll, uh, what is the other one? Paul's a liar. Um, all, all these sort of things. They'll, they'll make scripture the way they want to see it, all right? And that's the way they preach it. Um, or they'll just flat out, like Antichrist will just say, nah, and the, the whole Bible's a lie. And, uh, these ones will still know, a lot of them will still know a lot about the Bible, and they'll find every spot where God's the bad guy, and they'll have it all listed out where God's evil. And um, this is what they want to show that um, all all the Abraham doctrines are evil or whatever. <clears throat> so that that's that lot. So the rest are all the lost sheep. So I, I would say, ironically, once you're found and you um, uh, like in Galatians, there you, you have the faith. You you're in the seed of Abraham if you have faith and you're Christ. You belong to Christ. So you've been found, you're no longer a lost sheep anymore. So <laughs> there's that, because you know know his voice. Um, so yeah, the lost sheep are still those that don't know his voice, haven't listened, uh, haven't rejected uh, that God's, um, who God is and all that sort of stuff, um, haven't rejected their birthright. Uh, these would be the lost sheep. And uh, all over the world, any blood, any blood, any anywhere, all over the world, that's the lost sheep. So, which we are, all, all Israel went all over the world um, <clears throat> and spread out. So, um, that's pretty much how I would see. What else do I have there? Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much how I see it. I hope that helped, and God bless.